Hey train friends, welcome back to another train layout tour video. We're here at my good buddy Chuck's house and we're going to check out his new layout and run on it for the first time today on PGH Train Fanatic. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to share this with you guys and have some fun tonight. This is Chuck's previous layout and as you can see it was just absolutely beautiful and if you're wondering why he tore down this layout I'll explain a little bit later in this video. If you missed the video of this layout I did it in December of 2021 and he's been busy over the past year building his new layout. Here's a flashback. Here it is. This is a gorgeous layout. All right guys so here it is Chuck's new layout under construction and it is operating the main lines are up and running so we can run trains tonight the layout is 14 by 19 feet long and you can see it just gets a little bit narrower on this side and um, if you're interested in following Chuck on YouTube he has a channel the UP and PRR Railroad is the channel name and I'll put a link to his channel in the video description so you can go check that out but uh, let's just talk a little bit more about the layout and give you some views of it. So he's got this really nifty lift out bridge that pops in and out here so you can walk into the center of the layout. And it makes it so you can reach pretty much almost anywhere in this layout except for maybe behind the, the engine house back there. Well, let's walk inside and check it out. All right, I'm standing on the inside part of the layout and you can see he has mocked up his town area with some super streets for a streetcar. It looks great already. I really like the the crossover and the, the figure eight pattern that he came up with. It's really, really clever. And I, I like these old style buildings. That's gonna look really cool when it's all said and done. And then just looking around here, you can see he's got his backdrop up, which looks fantastic. It's really nice. And the uh, engine house. There'll be a turntable in this area with whisker tracks, engine facility buildings like the coaling and water tower. And just check that out back there. That looks so cool in that corner with the road coming out. The house and the, the water scene. I really like the water scene too. Got a nice Ross double crossover switch back there for the double main line. It's 072 and 080 minimum. And it's, uh, it's, it's fun. And everybody's wondered, you know, um, what happened with the old layout and why Chuck changed it. Well, honestly, the main, the main thing here is the old layout was, the old layout was taller up around this point. And you can see the ceilings are pretty low here. This is like a bulkhead. So, um, he was realizing that there was uh, some problems trying to get up there and do scenery. So, um, I really like the new plan. It's it's much more uh, user friendly, so to speak, and it just looks great. Check out these these control panels that he had made. These are awesome. You can control all the switches with the easy flick of the button, and they're lit. Those are beautiful. So we're gonna run some trains tonight. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much again for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it.